Hello Libra. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, about 53 Tarot, should read you as well. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. Goodness, Libra. Okay, so right away what you show me though is there's definitely some sort of connection here between you and someone. Um, at the same time, you're saying I'm doing absolutely everything. I just jump right in. You're saying I'm doing absolutely everything I possibly can to kind of focus on just putting this connection behind me. Um, there may have been some sort of connection there one time or another, but now it's just, it's not it. Um, but you are focused on, you know what, learning something about it, learning something about the two of you. Might have to do with something regarding boundaries. Um, And there, I was going to say, and there you are. So, um, goodness. It, it's like, even for you, you're having to make a very, you may having to make a very heavy decision about this. Whatever this connection is between the two of you, you're kind of like, emotionally speaking, it just doesn't feel like it's it. At the same time, it's, it's kind of like, um, you're wanting to choose the path or you wanting to choose them or you wanting to choose yourself for the sake of your own happiness and fulfillment but that's what's interesting is even though you're kind of showing me um it seems as if you are strongly choosing yourself it's and that's understandable you're kind of like i'm not happy to but i know i need to and there's a difference you're doing what you need to do not necessarily what you want to do even though you're kind of like it seems and feels like okay well i still am who i still am and i you know um I'm getting something I strongly want here at the same time. Um, there, there, there's a lack of understanding and clarity about something specific within the situation. At the same time, you, you still know that deep down you have to choose yourself. Like, I understand that, but I'm looking at 666. Yeah, it's getting to you. It's getting to you. There, there's a sense of um, knowledge, awareness, knowing. There's a sense, how do I even say this? Um, there's a sense of wanting to, in a sense, take the reins. You, you want to take control of the situation, the dynamic between the two of you. And because there's missing bits and pieces of information here about the two of you and what's going on in this relationship, that's what's throwing you off, in a sense, your game. Um... 
there, there clearly is some sort of history or past here between the two of you, which you're kind of saying, no, 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 I got this handled. Trust me, I'll take care of it. I'll figure this out. You are. At the same time, you're also having to address the emotional response that you're feeling and experiencing and going through because of choosing yourself through this whole situation. It, you're going through the release process about this connection between the two of you. Even though it's difficult, you are, you're taking the reins back, you're taking the control back, you are. And even though it's interesting is as soon as you do take control back, you kind of like, and now I just kind of want to cruise and set the cruise control. <laughs> So in a sense, you're, you're taking the will when it's necessary. Mm. Yeah, you just don't know, though. You just don't know. You're like, I'm just going to set the cruise control for now because I just don't know ultimately long term wise what I'm going to do. At the same time, you do realize that even though you don't have it all planned out and thought out very clearly, you're still going to be responsible and take care of what you can do and deal with whatever problems and issues do come up. Um, it is what it is because you're kind of like, you know, what, what else is there to do right now except just, you know, take it day by day. And there you are again. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of focus on self. A lot of focus on self. Okay, so what you're showing me here is you're, you're climbing to the top. Libra, your ladder. Your ladder. <laughs> you're like, yeah. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's about it there's that devil energy that's what it's about huh <laughs> your ladder there it is Ooh, that's interesting you're watching that like a hawk you're watching that like a hawk it's what you got going on for yourself very watchful very very watchful sense yeah I get it yeah you're saying I'm watchful but I love what I do and because I love what I do it makes me happy and because it makes me happy I'm going to invest my emotions and energy into it because I get what I want from it it's like sounds like common sense <laughs> at the same time though um, ooh, at the same time, though, did I just see it? Yeah, I'm looking at six, 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 six. At the same time, though, um, You're not getting everything you want from who you're dealing with. I am now looking at, there's two different Libras coming through. I'm looking at one dealing with a family situation and dynamic, and then I'm dealing with a Libra that is clearly just focused on their work, their career, making money and climbing that ladder. I feel like both of you in the sense are focused on climbing the ladder of success and kind of taking yourselves to the top. Um, makes sense. At the same time, like again, the Libra who's dealing with someone else, they're there, but it's sort of like, why? Um, don't know what that's about, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. They're all here. Goodbye.